All right, next shoe. No, we see our moon exploration box. That's PG 2.5, though. It's not a 2. It's a 2.5. They come in the same box, so we don't have to be concerned that everything's not right. But we know that's the moon exploration, and the shoe only costs 110 Great price for the PG. Uh, they haven't started. They haven't introduced the 3 yet, which I hope they don't. I hope they stick with this one for a while. Because the variation in the colors is perfect. And I know people are like, it's getting old. We don't want to buy that anymore. Then at that point, you just stop making it. And then you focus on the three. But that's a personal thing. I think it's just far too many signature shoes dropping. I even saw like Gunnivan Mitchell has a signature shoe now with a spider. Which just seems odd. And I'm way off topic. Here we go. Authentic verification. PG 2.5. Color is black. Black. Photo blue. SRP is 110. Style code is BQ. 8452006. This is a size 14, and that's a 15 and a half women's for unisex sizing. The size 14 UPC is 886-915-020-483, and there's a 16 at the end. Let's open it up, and it has that double stamp, which is a stamp in what would typically be a QC sticker, but it's also a stamp, and it's overlapping, so it may be kind of hard to see. 07, 09, 18, 05, and then the stamp is F29. So two stamps instead of a QC sticker in the stamp. 07, 09, 18, 05, 07, 09, 18. Paper is the white gloss paper with the shoe inside of the box. And there are certain colorways that I, I feel like um, Nike tends to make shoes just to make them so they can put them in their own doors. There, there's no point in this shoe. You really only need about what? 10 colorways of a particular shoe. Nike really overdoes it, man. And I mean, I know it just keeps them in the public eye and people continuously write about the shoes and we continuously do videos, but that's because nobody really requests or looks like they're shopping for anything except for Nike. It's crazy. But we've done all the small details on the 2.5. You can go back to some of the older videos and watch those. I'm going to do the 360. I'm going to go to the size tag so we can check our QC stamp. And then we're going to do the 360 and finish this one up. All right. Um, here is the production date 04 17 18 2 08 31 18 08 31 0. What did I say that was over there? 07 09 18. So 09. 07, 18, 09, 07, 08, 31, within basically seven days. So we got a week on this, our production date, QC stamp, perfect. We're good to go. Um, gray strap going across. Midsole is gray. Outsole is translucent. And you have that sticky kind of this weird pattern for the, you know, traction. I wonder how that works. You need to look at like wear testers to see how the traction works on this thing. On the inside, you have the Paul George signature that's on the right. And on the inside of the left, you also have the Paul George signature. Inside of the shoe, it's just PG on both shoes, on the inside of both shoes. PG. So let's go 360 and wrap it up. There's a toe. Top. Right there. Left. Right. Front medial. It's really like an obsidian. It looks black, but it's a dark, like navy blue. Now, there's one real nice detail that I kind of glossed over that I shouldn't have. And I'm going to show you the part that I like the most on this shoe. And that is the swoosh. And it has a metallic look to it. Let's see if you can catch that metallic the sparkle that's in and you really can't see it with this camera I definitely apologize for that because it is really nice that's it wrap this one up move on to the last pair for the day 